I am so glad to be able to be with you and to share a study with you from the Bible. I appreciate Ronnie and Gail Kane and their family and the good, wonderful meal that was provided for us and enjoyed that fellowship and the good food. It's good to see some of our camp buddies from Backwoods Christian Camp. I appreciate you all. All of you that possibly can ought to be involved in Backwoods Christian Camp. That's a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I certainly appreciate Brother David and his family. I have great admiration for them, for the work they're doing in the kingdom and what they're doing with those precious children. God bless you for that. That's so amazing and wonderful. And I've loved Brother Herschel Bass for many years. I have great respect for him. If I could make you a promise tonight and, and really follow through on this promise, it would be this. If you will be honest with this study tonight, just be honest with yourself and with God, and make whatever changes you need to make, you'll never be the same. I promise you that. Uh, I preach a lot of sermons that I probably couldn't say that about, but I guarantee you, listen, if you'll be really honest with yourself and with God, you'll never be the same. Thank you for being here tonight to study this with us. I'm glad my wife Janice and two of our grandchildren, Bailey and Braden, can be with us tonight. That's a special blessing, too. I want to ask ten questions, and here's how I want us to approach this. I just want us to study briefly the question, and then we'll give you a moment to answer it before we move to the next. And all I ask you to do is be honest with yourself and with God. Is that fair enough? Just be honest with yourself and with God. If you need to make changes, make those changes. Because surely we all want to go to heaven, don't we? Isn't that why we're here? Isn't that what life's about? Going to heaven. Okay, question number one, do you really want to go to heaven? Now someone said, well, everybody wants to go to heaven. No, I'm sorry to tell you that's not the case. There are a lot of folk in the world that don't care whether they go to heaven or not. They don't even believe in God. I've done a jail work for many, many years. And I met a fellow who had killed two teenagers in a car just to be killed. didn't even know these kids. And he shot them up near the Jacksonville Church building, in fact. And uh, I studied with this fellow while he was in jail. And uh, I said, doesn't it bother you when you think about standing before God and give an account for what you have done in your life. And through just cold, sad eyes, he said, doesn't bother me a bit. I don't believe in God. Well, when people do not believe in God, then they just do any kinds of horrible things. So not everybody wants to go to heaven. In Matthew 25, verse 46, after the picture of the judgment day and this great separation, some on the right hand, some on the left, he said, these shall go into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So you see this great separation, some going to everlasting punishment and others to life eternal. Do you really want to go to heaven? And are you willing to do what it takes to go there. I think I meet a lot of folk who would say, yes, I want to go to heaven, but then when it gets down to doing what it takes to get there, they may not be willing to do those things. So let's take a moment now and answer question number one. Do you really want to go to heaven? Now question two. Are you sure right now that you're headed toward heaven? Are you sure right now that you're headed toward heaven? In that great Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7, verse 21, Jesus said, Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So only those who are doing the will of the Father can be sure that they're headed toward heaven. 
So are you sure right now that you're headed to heaven? If you died tonight, would you go to heaven? If you died tonight, would you go to heaven? That's what we're talking about. That's what we want to be sure about. That we are sure right now that if we breathed our last, that we'd go to heaven. And one day you will breathe your last. Now, it may not be tonight. It might be. We don't know. But I know for sure we're not going to be on this earth forever. Just a short time in this life is over. And you know, the days fly by, and, and one minute you're a teenager, and you open your eyes, and the next minute you're an old man. And you wonder, what happened to those years? How, how did life pass by so quickly? Are you sure right now that you're headed toward heaven? Let's take a moment and answer question number two. Now question number three. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God? Notice I didn't just ask, do you believe in Jesus? Most Muslim people believe in Jesus, and I've met several thousand Muslim people through the years in our evangelism and our mission work. Most of them believe in Jesus. But they would say, he's, he's a prophet, he's a great teacher, he's a great leader among men. So I, I'm asking more than just do you believe in Jesus. I'm asking, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of the living God? In John 6, verse 69, when... Jesus had said some things, and a lot of folk turned away from him and left. And, and, and the Lord was sad, and he said to the disciples, Will you also go away? And Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. We believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are the, the Christ. You are the, the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Promised Redeemer. That was to come. We believe that you are that Messiah. We believe that you are the Son of the living God. And not like the Mormons would tell us, that Jesus is a Son of God. There's a lot of difference in those two expressions. Jesus is not a Son of God. He is the Son of the living God. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? I've had the opportunity to do Bible studies with hundreds and hundreds of Hindu people. And I remember working with an elderly family, an elderly Hindu family, and I had taught them about the Bible and about the one God and about God sending His Son Jesus to redeem us. And we'd studied from the Scripture together, and finally I thought that they were maybe at a point of faith and, Maybe we'd be ready to be baptized. And so I asked, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God? This same question that I'm asking you. And the lady was first to respond, and, and, and with tears, I mean big tears just flowing from her eyes, she said something like this. This might not be word for word, but it's pretty close. She said, I do believe in Jesus. I really do believe that He is the Son of the living God. I believe that Jesus died for my sin. And I thought, thank God for a faith like that. So let's take a moment now and answer question number three. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God?